Alrighty, so I wanted to use Ein's. Uh, the backstory here is I was in the VC with the guild last night doing my Guild Wars attacks, and uh, I was like, eh, like, I'm going to go ahead and finish out the rotation that I'm on. When I did my summon video, we did one and a half rotations, uh, and we got Demi Urge 6 6. I did one free multi in between the time of me doing the summon video and the time that I was in the VC, and I pulled an extra copy of Demi Urge on the free multi. So that was weird. So I was like, okay, like, I'm in the VC chatting with the homies kind of thing, and I was like, I'm just going to finish out this rotation. I ended up getting, um, I think, one extra copy of Ainz, and then I pulled an extra copy of him on the Guaranteed, since I was just going to go ahead and finish out the, the rotation. It put him at 5-6. I pulled, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and 6-6 six, six the man. So I went ahead and did an entire extra rotation. So I've done three rotations on the banner at this point uh, to 6-6 six, six this guy. And uh, I think I pulled the last copy that I needed him right after the 300 mark. So I just ended up finishing the rotation out and putting an extra copy into uh, Albedo. So we do have a 6-6 six, six Ainz now. If you don't know what that means, every single Death Brand stack is actually going to give us 7% damage reduction, which is actually pretty big. So uh, Death Brand on an enemy decreases that enemy's damage dealt and the final damage of that enemy's all target ultimate move by 7%. So they do 7% less damage dealt to us per stack and you can have four stacks on an enemy. So it's pretty big. That's what, 42% damage reduction? Um, no, I'm stupid. I'm really bad. Three, three of these is 21%. So it's 28% damage reduction. Math. Uh, but wait, or does it stack for all enemies? I don't know. It's kind of insane. I think it's I think it's 28% for that character specifically. Uh, but either way, 6-6 six, six ultimate. His ultimate's a single target, uh, but uh, he's a pretty cool character in general. I did buy all the costumes for the newer uh, Overlord coll or older collab characters as well. So I'm just going to try to get a little bit of my money's worth. Um, I don't really care that I ended up spending a couple of extra gems on the rotations and stuff like that just because I'm pretty sure we'll end up having a 600 banner next. Um... Who knows if it's going to be a decent character or not, but even if I do the 600 on that, I'll still have a really good amount of gems before I get my next set of Creator Club gems. Uh, so, I was like, might as well. Collabs are normally banners that I don't go too hard on. Uh, and so, just going to try and take advantage of the uh, the gems while I have them and the banner because who knows if the uh, Overlord collab is ever coming back again. So we're going to go triple AOE here that puts three stacks on everybody. So our damage reduction should be looking pretty good. We're using, I just wanted to go for like a tanky team and I wanted to put Hell on there so that way hopefully they can't get to Ainz so that way I can pop his passive and kill people with death sentence. I want to put the death brand or the uh whatchamacallit, not death brand, source of pain stacks on so it whittles their HP down even more and hopefully I'll be able to keep my taunt up for a couple of turns going first because it's already up turn one. I can use uh, the, the taunt as my first card turn two so that way I put my taunt back on and hopefully they won't be able to get to my, my annoying characters so that way I can just kill them at my leisure kind of thing. So yeah, AoEs would have been better here but because, uh, you know, Hell's on the team, I think he feels obligated not to use it. Uh, so let's go ahead and use this. It should actually deal some pretty good damage as well. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and put Death Sentence on Gelda because that makes the most sense to me. And then... I don't know that we're going to be able to kill Meli off. Meli could be the big problem here. So, boom. Pretty good damage. That re-ups our taunt. Death Sentence on to Gelda. So she'll die at the end of the turn. Not quite enough damage to kill him, unfortunately. So the big issue here is he's going to pop his passive. And he could end up just single target bursting down on the Sabnak. And then he has free range to attack my other characters. Or he could go AoE here and just try to kill everybody off. He used double single target, or a bunch of single targets turn one. So I think he may just go AoE heavy here. Because if he goes just like, you know, two AoEs with... Uh, Gelda here into an AoE with Meli. It could be enough to kill either the whole team or at least one of, one, or like both of the side characters. I'm not sure yet. So it is double AoE. I think Hell is definitely dead here. We have Nanashi buffs on. Oh, it was way too much damage. That sucks because now it gets rid of our Death Sentence stack. So unfortunately, that does kill the, the team potential here. That is very unfortunate. I have a level 3 here, which is kind of cool, but I definitely don't think it's going to be enough. Like, 
probably kills Demiurge, but he's gonna Melee's gonna cleanse, so it doesn't really matter what we put on him. And it didn't even do that much damage, so that's okay though. I mean, good game to him. Um, actually, I mean he played it really well, using the single targets turn one, so he doesn't put a whole bunch of stacks on and stuff, and then like saving the big AOE for the melee passive. Definitely the way to play against this team, but the damage reduction was still really good. All right, Demon Team again. Very typical. Very low CC, though. We are in Champ 1, so I'm expecting maybe a little bit more bot play. Um, let's go ahead and do the triple AoE like we did last time. His CC being so much lower makes me think that this should be an easier win. And if it's a bot, maybe they'll use AoEs and put uh, the Hell Sacks on. But we'll see. I guess it... I guess I'm kind of playing that wrong in the sense of like using the Sabnak card last. Because technically I think I should be using it first with this setup so that way Melee cleanses it off. But because I'm using it last anyway, I can use this card and get more damage out of it. So kind of works out in one way or another, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it would be better to, because like if I use it second, for example, um, Melly's gonna full cleanse and he's not gonna get affected by it at all on this turn. Like, I use this, yeah, I get more damage out, but it doesn't really matter kind of thing. I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill Melly here or not. I think I'm just gonna make sure we kill Melly here, because if we don't, he really is the biggest threat to my team. So, does this kill? It doesn't quite kill, even with him using the AoE for the extra stack, so that kinda sucks, because this is gonna kill, it's not gonna put Death Sentence on. Nice, 170 is not crazy, but it is what it is. But now, at this point, hopefully we can get... Okay, I was about to say, if we can get another Dark Moon card, we can keep re-upping our taunt, and then we can just pick them off with uh, with Death Sentence debuffs, which is actually really funny. Um, problem being, I can't target Demiurge, unfortunately, so I can't put the Death Sentence debuff on him. So that kind of sucks. Going kind of hard with the AoEs there. Um, let's go ahead and re-up the taunt here. I'm going to use this into... Wait, he doesn't have mind control on me. So I can actually hit Demiurge with this. So decent little bit chunk of damage here. I think we're going to kill Demiurge without even worrying about the death sentence. But this is not killing Gelda. So she'll die to the death sentence. But this probably kills. Yeah. 216 on him. No Nanashi buffs. So makes sense. He can't get to Ein's. Unless he uses AoE, he has Death Sentence on, uh, which is additional damage equal to 100% of the remaining HP at the end of the turn. If you have a shield on, I think you can actually survive it, but he doesn't, so easy easy kill there. And it's against Nanashi, so the, the numbers are going to be a little inflated, but I do want to see how much damage the, uh, whatchamacallit does. The, uh, well, it would do, no, never mind. Yeah, let's... Well, no, it has Verdict on it, which is 50% more per, per Death Brand stack. So, technically, it would be better if I did something like this. But I don't know if Hell is going to kill here. Yeah, she is. Unfortunate. I should have only used one. I was going to try to put as many Death, death Brand stacks on as possible, but... Screwed that up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's maybe move over to Geared. I think Geared could be a little bit more interesting. So, I've already got the team set up over there. Be right back. All right, Demon Team from the get-go. We'll see how that goes. 401, I am trying to go first with this team, and I'm using triple HP defense sets, so kind of chilling in that regard. I think we go AoE with Sabnak first. Ah, can I even do that, though? Yeah, I think we can, because I can use that, then this, then this, because we'll put a debuff on with the, with the second AoE, right? Or actually, do I need to use the Hell debuff first? Because that applies to the attack related. Okay, the attack related does go on before the debuff. So Melly's going to cleanse the attack related stat debuff off. And then they keep the Sapnak debuff on. So that's 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 fine. That works out how I want it to anyway. Uh, ooh, a level 3 Verdict card could go kind of hard. He's blue. We could try to go type advantage into the Gelda just to see how much it does. And if it doesn't kill, she'll die to the death sentence anyway. That could be kind of fun. Going AoEs. 
which means that uh, hell stacks are going to go kind of hard on him. I do really need to make sure he dies, though, unfortunately. Um, let's do this. I think I'm going to risk it. Well, he'll have max stacks anyway. We'll just see who this goes on to. I guess it would have to be Gilda if we end up killing the melee here. But I don't think we're going to kill the melee here. Decent damage, but I really need to make sure that he dies. He's literally the only... Well, not the only threat. Like, once Gilda gets built up, it could be a problem, but... 447. Not crazy, I'll be honest. Could have been cooler. But, um, you know, that's pretty respectable. I didn't really want to fight... Like, I wanted to kind of fight into the Gilda because of type advantage. Uh, but she also had the Nanashi debuffs, which made it a little less appealing. And maybe I can just hit her with the ultimate now, since I did get the, the big merges for the ultimate move gauge. So, that could be kind of fun. AoE. I don't have uh, Nanashi buffs on my Ainz, so he has potential to kill me. Oof. Okay, single target. That's nice. That is perfect. So, um, I do have mind control on, unfortunately. Let's go for the kill into... Uh, it doesn't... It's kind of hard to... I guess we do this, just to proc the debuffs. Let's see how much this does, though. 6-6 six, six ultimate. She has max death brand stacks. A mill. Okay. There's the set. Let's go. Okay, kind of cool. I mean, the team is not particularly exciting, let's be honest. But it's it's inter like it's cool in the sense that like they can't get to my characters kind of thing. I mean... Demon team being triple AoE means they they have potential to kill me, but hopefully they don't. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, dude, it's just demon teams everywhere. Assault mode, though, so might not be as big of an issue. We do have buffs on, so assault mode's AoE is going to be a little bit more helpful. Uh, I think we do go ahead and just pop the Sabnak debuff on this one. Because, I mean, if, if I really want to, I could try to just Sabnak combo next turn. So, we stun Demiurge, which is good. We single target seal on the melee, which is actually nice as well. So, no Amplify, because he's... Does he have the Nanashi buffs on? He does. So, the AoE actually... Or, the single target Amplify could have went kind of hard. He's not like... He... Eh, you know... He's... He's not going to do that much damage, let's be fair. Like, I mean... He can do like 300k with that single target, but uh, characters have a lot of HP nowadays, so it would I don't think it would have killed. Let's be let's be completely transparent here. So let's do Uh do we just try to go ahead and kill the Yeah, I think we just try to kill the Gilda. Because we can't target Well, I don't know. I, I wasn't checking my mind control stacks, but I don't think we would be able to target Demiurge. So we'll just go ahead. I mean, we're going to disable our Sabnak, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and get rid of Gelda at the end of his turn. It kind of sucks because I won't be able to re-up my taunt. But we'll see how things go. Almost a level 3 with Ainz here. So that would have been kind of nice. I'm hoping that my single target damage will be enough to kill... That did a lot. That was a ton of damage. Single target, actually doing some pretty good damage to Sabnak there, but not quite enough. Ooh, I think we're dead. Gelda dies because he didn't kill Ainz. Boom. I can't target Demiurge, which is really bad. I mean, okay, this was a, a scenario where... Um, actually, I can target him with... Nanashi? So, let's do it like this. Like, obviously, I don't think Ainz can target Demiurge, so it's going to end up falling onto the other one. I don't think this is going to kill. Ah, oh, pretty close, though. Maybe his hand... Well, I'm I'm pretty low. It, it would. I think the only good option there would have been if I could have killed the melee there. Because if he does have melee amplify cards, he's probably going to... You know, he has type advantage as well. He's, he's going to be able to kill my... My eyes pretty easily, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know if this was a real player or not. I don't think it was, but 
we'll say GG anyway. Ooh, maybe it would be, be oh, it was a real player actually. Um, maybe we change the team a little bit. Maybe we change the team a little bit. Okay, so I swapped over to Thor. I think Thor could be a little bit more interesting. Of course, we don't get a demon team when I do. Uh, but I think the, whatchamacallit, I think that Thor could be interesting in the sense that it would give them a reason to not want to AoE too much, because then I would pop my Thor passive maybe. Which, I mean, Hell, I think is a pretty good deterrent on like not wanting to AoE, but uh, Thor is just going to do way more damage in retaliation. So, unfortunately I disable my Eins. Uh, Thor not having a, an AoE does kind of suck because I'm not going to be able to put as many Iron stacks on. And like like I just did there, I had to, I disabled my Irons trying to put more Death Brand stacks on. I guess I could play around that if I really wanted to and just single target somebody anyway. Or I could double Sabnet card and disable her instead. But I, I really want to be able to have that taunt up if I can. So, uh, no damage dealt on her. Let's go for this, maybe. Oh, it's part of the passive, actually. I th mm. So is this, th is this still going to put on death sentence? I think it is. Like, even though I'm disabled. Four stacks. Boom. Does put on death sentence. Okay, so I have taunt up. We have Nanashi buffs on Ainz, which is great. So even though I disabled him, really not a big deal. Like, yeah, we would have done more damage with the Verdict card, but actually not a big problem. Um, only issue I see is, like, him dying. We put the Flame Stacks on ourselves. We take extra damage there. We can't get to Arthur right now, which kind of sucks, but... So he dies. It puts the... No Flame Stack? Mm, maybe he had really low C or, or really low ult level. Not 100% sure on that. Um, I think we can pop passive here. Let's attack Ian because he has a taunt on, so we do more damage. And then uh, I guess we do this. I don't. I'm gonna need this to go really hard, so that way it kills now for me through the res. It went really hard. All right, that's perfect. That actually worked out a little little bit better in the sense that, like, yeah, I don't know. I like Hale so much, but unfortunately, she's just a little too supporty for this to kind of work out. Um, I really wanted it to work out, but... Oh, we literally merge back into the ultimate. Get RNG'd. Um, anyways, uh, let's go back in. Let's do maybe one or two more, because I kind of like this setup a little bit more. Alrighty, what do we got here? Okay, Demon Team again. I'm glad that we're fighting some demon teams, because, like, I swapped to this team anticipating more demon teams. But we'll see how things go. Uh, what do I do? Uh, yeah. Let's go for this, this, into... This, maybe? Try to get some, like, early damage out on the Gelda before she gets too much HP increase. And then hopefully his AoEs will well i don't know we single target sealed hers okay so she'll have to use an aoe really good damage turn one two okay that's really nice he cleansed his off he's single target sealed so he he literally only has two aoe's here which is perfect because he can use two aoe's that should do enough damage to yeah already proc thunder god's judgment which is great uh eins has taken a little bit of damage but not too much turn one we pop our passive we kill the melee this turn, hopefully. That's a lot of defense related, so I'm not actually sure on that. And then we put death sentence on uh, the Gelda, hopefully. Ooh, is this gonna kill melee? That's not killing melee. Holy, my man tanking, holy. Wait, oh, it's no, that's so unfortunate. He's gonna cleanse the death sentence off because I didn't put any debuffs on. That actually really sucks. Because now he just gets his passive for free. No. Oh, huge damage. What is this man's melee? Sometimes melee doesn't do either... Like, he doesn't do that much damage. Or he takes way more damage. 
This is not good. All right, give me an insane Thor merge here. Give me, give me the craziest Thor merge of my life. All right. No, it is. <laughs> um. Hmm. I think I go for Gelda here. Type advantage. It's not. It's not gonna work. GG. <laughs> Unfortunate. I was like, maybe I go for Melly here, but Gelda's the bigger threat, I think, at this point, because I'm not gonna be putting debuffs on. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. He's gonna do so much damage to me at this point too. Like he would have to proc Thunder God's protection for me to live this. And even if he does, I'm disabled, so the ultimate's not gonna go that crazy. Uh, yeah. Hmm. This one was not great. Like bad, actually. Like really not good. So fair. It was a bot too. God. Why did he tank so well? That one was crazy. Okay. Let's see it. 363. Probably a bot, unfortunately. But we'll see how it goes. Tarmia Link on him? Insane. Let's go ahead and proc that passive. And we'll just get some early damage out on Gelda and hopefully kill her off. Uh, we'll have to worry about the melee a little bit, so probably not the greatest idea. Maybe better to go after the melee instead, but that did prompt my Thunder God's Judgment, so that's kind of nice. Hmm. AoE seal on these two, so that actually is a little unfortunate. Well, I guess it's not It's not bad. Well, the fact that Melly can't use his AoE here might be bad, because if I don't get rid of him this turn, uh, we're going to be in some real hurting. Uh, she lifestealed a bit back too, which is kind of bad for me. Let's go for... I'm in a tough spot here, actually. Um, I think I'm just gonna go, oh, have to go like straight damage on Melly because I, I, too much tanking. I really don't need him to get his passive off, but unfortunately, it's just gonna happen. I guess silver lining here is he does have full death brand stack, so maybe he'll do less damage, but it's gonna be pretty bad. Like, it's not going to be good. I assume that's an AoE straight out of the gate. It is. This is going to hurt so much. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm going to call it. I guess I'm calling it there. Crazy that I didn't proc Thunder God's uh, protection. I don't know. <laughs> Am I happy that I spent that many gems to 6-6 six, six Eins? Not particularly, but... He's cool. I like his gimmick quite a bit, so I don't hate it. And I mean, his ultimate did some really good damage. So, I mean, it is what it is. Would I recommend chasing dupes for him this late? Probably not. But uh, either way, that's pretty much it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys later.